On June 26, India's very own group captain Subhanshu Shukla became only the second Indian to journey into space, entering the International Space Station as part of the Axiom AX4 mission. His feat marks not only a personal milestone, but also a symbolic one for India's growing presence among the world's spacefaring nations. But while the headlines called him an astronaut, is that even the correct term? If so, then why is Rakesh Sharma referred to as a cosmonaut and not an astronaut? What do we call someone who sails amongst the stars? The answer, it turns out, varies with geography, language and history. Let's understand. Almost all the terms used around the world for human space travellers translate in one way or the other to star sailor. The American term astronaut comes from Greek, astron meaning star and nought meaning sailor. The term became standard with NASA's Mercury program in the 1960s, cementing itself in global lexicon through repeated use in pop culture and international media. But America, as you know, wasn't the only one looking skyward during that time. The Soviets, who sent the first human, Yuri Gagarin, into space in 1961, coined their own term cosmonaut from Greek cosmos, that is universe, and again not sailor. It was meant to evoke the grandeur of the cosmos, aligning with the Soviet Union's ideological ambitions to conquer more than just the Earth. And realistically, it differentiated their space travellers from that of the US, both of whom were locking horns during the Cold War then. Even today, Russia continues to use the term through its successor agency, Roscosmos. China, the third country to independently send humans into space, uses the term Yu Huang Yen, which roughly translates to universe navigator. But in Western commentary, the term Taikonaut has often appeared. Derived from the word Taikong, that is, space or great emptiness, and coined by space enthusiasts in the late 1990s to mirror the structure of astronaut and cosmonaut. Though not an official term, Taikonaut has become convenient shorthand in English language reports. In Japan, the term for a space traveller is Uchu Hikoshi, literally meaning space flying professional. However, when collaborating with international partners, especially on missions with NASA, Japan tends to adopt the English term astronaut for clarity and cohesion. The same is true for many other nations whose citizens have flown aboard foreign missions, especially those by NASA. France offers its own linguistic flair with spationaut, blending Latin spatium, that is space, and Greek nought. French astronauts began using this term in the 1980s as part of the French Space Agency, CNES's missions. Similarly, Canadians, Germans and Italians who fly with NASA or ESA, that is the European Space Agency, often retain the term astronaut. But local media sometimes uses native versions as well. For example, Germans have occasionally used the word Raumfahrer, meaning space traveller. Then there is our India, where there is no widely institutionalised term yet, although the term Vyomnaut has gained occasional traction. Derived from the Sanskrit word Vyoman, that is sky, it's been proposed as the Indian equivalent to astronaut or cosmonaut. It was popularised in discussions around India's upcoming Gaganyaan mission, but hasn't officially replaced astronaut in popular or institutional usage. But what exactly qualifies someone to carry these titles? According to NASA and most space agencies, the defining threshold is the Kaman Line, an imaginary boundary 100 kilometers above the sea level. Cross that line and you have technically left the Earth. While the US Air Force historically set this limit lower at about 80 kilometers for awarding astronaut wings, the World Air Sports Federation and most international bodies adhere to the 100 kilometer rule. Interestingly, not everyone who travels to space is called an astronaut or a cosmonaut. From 2001 onwards, with the arrival of space tourism and private space flight, the term space flight participant came into use. Journalist Toyohiro Akiyama, who visited the Mir station in 1990, was one of the first civilians to travel into space. Later, billionaires like Richard Garriott and Yusaku Maezawa further blurred the lines between profession and participation. NASA now uses the term commercial astronaut for trained crew from private companies like SpaceX or Blue Origin. So when Subhanshu Shukla floated into the ISS, he joined a rare brotherhood, one that spans nations, languages and political boundaries, but shares a poetic core. Each one of them 
in some form or the other is a sailor of the stars thank you for watching for more such videos please subscribe to the hindu if you have any suggestions or feedback for us do write to us at video@thehindu.co.in at thank you